Hey guys, it's John. Oh. Hi guys, it's John. <laughs> Who said hi instead of hey? Um, we're back with Alan Wake 2. Uh, we just finished up another Alan section. I think like five or even six straight videos of Alan. Um, and we're going to be switching reality back to Saga because we've been neglecting her lately. And I want to get back to the Twin Peaks style detective investigation. So that's what we'll be doing. And just like that, we're back. Now, if you forget what was happening. All oh, right, you can never escape him. Oh, it's it's just from this. Do you guys see that move? What? What? Why is it moving around like that? It's haunted. It's a haunted coffee machine. No, but seriously, why was it moving like that? It's so funny. Oh yeah, Saga has charms. Alan doesn't have that. All right, let's go ahead and uh oh wait, we got to we got to pet the deer. Such a shame. It's going to be it's going to be a collectible, isn't it? Pet every mounted deer in town. 6 out of 30. All right, so we have um done all that we can in here. I think we're looking for what are we doing? Ask around about the trailer. Track down the clicker and watery. That's right. <gasps> the lady checking for rain is gone here. What's that all about? Huh? Oh. Hello. What are you doing? Are you a spy or something? Are you a narc? What is this? <laughs> Just hanging out by the rusty barrels with my sunglasses on while it's overcast. That's not suspicious at all. You're very suspicious. Do you see how friendly she was too? She was like, hello. <laughs> like, yes, good morning. <laughs> Somebody's fully awake. No, oh, that's fine. You know what? What's back here? There's like ships and stuff. Ooh. I'm gonna find out. This is the, uh, what are you up to it's the ritual. Around? only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. There's not even a hole there. Water is definitely quaint. Gonna say that out loud? With an earshot of the locals? You're brave, Saga. Very brave. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Just a flare sitting around a nice chest and we're gonna take it. I bet they have good fish here. Well, I'd hope so. It says fresh out of Cauldron Lake. Although they're freshwater fish. I don't know if you, if you guys are fish snobs, you may not be into the freshwater fish. I don't know. Hello. I don't. I don't really know what like fish tube is like. Hey, are you? You're the hotel desk guy. Huh. I need a tool to get this open. Well, this place isn't open, I guess. Hmm. What? Why would you break into this place? Hmm, I need to break into this place. There might be a clue in there. What was that? Did somebody just jump into a dumpster? What? This place is haunted, dude. What? I'm not moving that. How's it moving? Look. Saga like pushes stuff around. She's got like a little force field barrier around her. Wow. Okay. Hey, where's the time gone? There's just a wretched husk of what used to be me left. Good morning. Do you start every conversation with strangers that way? Setter! It's better. I love it when these rhyme. Okay. Get me out of downtown. I know it says the road's closed over here, but maybe we can go that way. Or, oh, we can go in here, too. They got an American flag up. It means patriots live here. 
American Patriots. No? Okay, I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one more rat. Uh, one more lap around this place. And uh, when I don't find anything, that's what. Oh, I digress. Yeah. We'll just move on. Okay. But you never know. You gotta check it out. Now, see. Check out the map, right? Oh, uh, the road's closed. We're gonna have to take the backwoods. Road's out, you hear? Hey, Saga! Oh my god, it's these people. How do you... You remember me? Oh my gosh, you dweebs. Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. Yeah. This keeps happening. Yeah, Rose. That guy back there, these guys. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Do we live at the trailer it must park? Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. Lived? It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Or is it messing with yours? So what is Coffee World? It's an amusement park, right? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? No, I have seen it. Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose until yes. recently. Your amusement park. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. Right. About the cult of the tree. Why would we bring that up? Okay. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Well, yeah, card carrying we members. It was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> As normal as it ever gets around here. Yeah. I think you guys are in the cult of the tree. Yeah. So, your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal I is mean, you to call both them commercials and earlier. educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. Well, I'm. I should I've... profile some subjects. <laughs> gotta get back to. Gotta get back to work, you two. How's your uh, three-hour smoke break over here? That cigarette's never gonna burn down, is it? Hard at work, huh? Flooding did this? Kind of crazy. Oh, that's the, there's the amusement park over there. You can see it in the distance. Just like yeah. my marriage. Everyone is way too forthcoming here. They're way too, too busy trying to start conversations being like, Life sucks and then you die. Isn't that right, Saga? Can I go this way? I want to go the uh, Swami hiking trail. They're literally blocking my path. Ugh. It's going to make me profile them to start a new conversation. So let's just get it over with. All right. Weapon upgrade. Oh, yeah. So I've got 24 manuscript, uh, ma manuscript pages. I can't talk this morning. 
as well as I used to. Let's try... Okay. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire. Magazine size by 50%. Land two headshots in quick succession to stun an enemy. Increased reload speed. Deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Kill an enemy to restore health. But you have to do it with the shotgun. We're going to be doing it with the pistol more often. I think increasing the magazine size by 50%, which will bring it up to 9, I think, uh, will be more useful. Saga had lost count of how many shots she'd fired, but she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. And yet, she'd not run out of ammo. As if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets, she fired again. Uh huh. Two headshots in quick succession to stun enemy. Let's do that. Saga was sure she had hit the Taken in the head, but had not even slowed the monster down. She took aim and fired again. Another headshot. This time, the Taken staggered. Right. So th this is it? I've got two out of three upgrades on the pistol. I've almost maxed the pistol. Well, you know, sure. Okay, profiling with the, the Cosquillas. Here we go. I like how the bookers are still on here. I'm pretty sure the guy on the left, he was the guy in the hotel that Alex was talking to. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Well, he's an idiot. Or does he? No, he doesn't. Things that go bump in the night. He's in the cult, it's dude. All true. I'm telling you. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops. Brother. Yako. The shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Well, that's not my interpretation of things. Gather the troops, brother, sounds like gather the fellow troops in our cult. Ilmo made it sound me. like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spear key is safe and sound. It's the funny considering. have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Might be the story affecting you. I think you're a fictional character. Hell, they could all be fictional characters. Could be like a, some Agatha Christie shit. They're all they're all characters. I'd like to see my trailer. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Great. Call the gift See shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. You know, how much money do you guys have? And you spend it just standing around construction sites? I'm going to listen to this conversation. Nothing? What am I paying them for? Because they're busy. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that, uh, thing. Yep. Must be busy at the park. These are off peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. You know, isn't this supposed to take place in America, Bright Falls? How come there's so many Scandinavians here? Very strange. Like There's an unusually, an unusually high concentration, it would seem. You got those two guys. You got the janitor, Ati, or whatever his name is. You know what, I guess that's not that many now that I think about it, but considering the population is probably like 800 or something like that, pretty high. And they're in like rural, Pacific Northwest somewhere. I can't remember exactly. Where are we? Does it say what state we're in? What was that? 
Oh, I don't know. But we're taking our gun out, yo. <gasps> Somebody just chopping some wood. Chopping wood. Fuck. Whoa. Okay. Trying to chop my head. FBI, chop my, show yourself. Chopping my head. Somebody was tossing hatchets at me like the hunters from Dead by Daylight. Am I right, fellow gamers? Okay. God, it's like Resident Evil 4 over here. Honestly. Split. Do you see him? Whoa. He took a lot of shots. Yeah, you want to try that again, buddy? I'm with the headshot there at the More end. People turning into Taken. Is this the cult? Or the story? Or both? Oh, wait, we can go up here. Hang on. Let's take a look. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, we can continue going that way, or we can take a shortcut. I'm going to continue going around because I want to, like, check and make sure. Oh, there's something to the left. I'm glad I did that. Let's go in this way. I, I want to, like,. Experience as much of the game as possible. So here I go. Dude, can we ride a roller coaster in this game? Oh. Another rhyme. Do we have the stuff? I right, got the crow doll, wolf doll, and hero doll. Let's see what we need. The gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods from a worried frown, or with a worried frown. From the hunter he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. So we need, does that mean that we need the hunter? Is the hunter the hero? Let's try it. So we put the wolf in the woods. Oh. He flees between the mighty trees. Nah. No? Hmm. She acts like that's wrong. By the way, did you see that? Look at... She, there was like a bracket in the subtitle. That's not right. Think, Saga. Keep trying. I'm trying to get her to do it again. Doesn't look right. She got so many lines. Uh, nope. No. I'm amazed at how many lines Doesn't she make has. Sense. Ugh. No. Nah. Okay. All right. I, I will take it. You know, we'll come back to this. I'll remember that it's here. Oh. Oh, dear doll. Oh, this is the beast. This is the beast. Here, wait. Here, and here's the moose doll. But then we need a hunter doll, right? Oh, sorry. I don't know. Why was I apologizing? <laughs> Can I knock you? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Really? All right, whatever. The, the back of, I'm sorry to the back of your hand. Okay, we'll come back to this. Because I'm pretty sure we got to get the hunter doll. I'm not... I don't think it's the hero. But we got a moose and a deer. And we'll probably want to come back... Because we'll probably have to walk back to our car eventually anyway, so we'll pass by it. Can I go up there? Looks like there's like a locked box. I see right up there. Beware the woods. You know, it's kind of funny how this game is like half Evil Within 2 and half Life is Strange. <laughs> Let me take this. Um, wow, well now we can't see anything. 
coffee world. Yeah, that's where we are. It doesn't have like a you are here part of it. That's fine. Uh, the cult. Here I go. Another cult stash. Right. Oh, it's just Simon Says, right? They get more complicated each time. Oh. My bad. What the hell is this? Molotov cocktail? I found another dead taken by the radio tower. It looked like it was bashed to death. There was a lunchbox and some weird knitting by the corpse, too. I took care of the body, but that's the third one this month. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. We need to find this guy and let him know the cult of the tree it means business. Yeah, definitely. Definitely agree. Cult of the tree. Don't mess with me. Ah. I'm totally part of the cult of the tree. Love the cult. Cult's awesome. Big fan. Big fan of the cult. I know that one song by the cult. I can't tell you any of the lyrics though. It's like their big hit. I always thought it sounded like a Danzig, Danzig song. I don't like Danzig. <laughs> Not a fan. I've done it. Okay. We'll go inside, I guess. Oh, it's like a shooting range, or... Yeah, Another looks like it. Box. Hey, if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. Crossbow? P.S. I changed the code. As asked. They always, they always have an explanation. Like, I changed the code, by the way. There should be a note around here somewhere that explains my thought process behind changing the code. <laughs> if you look for it, you might find it somewhere. <laughs> it's probably in that shack, two feet away. I don't even, ah, oh, manuscript page, come on. Saga in the watery woods. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. Mm -hmm. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing the line. You're crossing the Something line, supernatural the force. Path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local. A man on the ridge above her. No, not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. What? It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. Great voice acting, Alan. I'm very impressed, actually. Hunting season was a bust. Okay, actually, let's go back to our mind palace. Oh, sorry. It's not mind palace. It's mind place. This guy makes a living playing video games? <sighs> no, actually, I make a living making videos. Common misconception. Big difference between the two, by the way. Big, big difference. May not seem like there is, but trust me, don't need to there's go a over all this again. big difference. Oh, we're just going to automatically go through it? I hate it when she does this. Blum mentioned Ilmo owns a trailer park. Ilmo can tell me more. It almost said someone at Coffee Work could help me. Uh, they really think I live there. This is unnerving, but at least I can exploit it to get inside this trailer. Oh, okay. So we were supposed to go here before profiling, but I profiled instead. I just skipped. I skipped ahead. That's fine. Um, fact versus fiction. Here we go. Oh. Wakes says the story will change reality around us. Right. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. 
Sounds good. Which parts are false? Which, if any, are real? That's a fair question. Calls me his funniest resident. My life in watery. Finally, someone appreciates my jokes. But seriously, what kind of life do I live here? Rose, yeah. You know, she was at the... She was at the concert. Logan is not dead. But what else did the story change about her life? Knowing might help me fight this thing. Alright. Apparently Rose is from the first game. I don't remember her. Oops. I did play the original game. Like, you, you can actually watch the whole thing on this channel. The first Alan Wake playthrough. I streamed it. So it's it's uncut just like this. I, I think it was like six or seven years ago. Um, but I, I, I remember very little from it. I even, believe it or not, I even watched a Alan Wake 1 recap video on YouTube that was like 20 minutes long just before starting this playthrough because I wanted to be caught up and reminded of things. And um, the, the problem with those videos and the problem with with Alan Wake 1 is that it's the, the plot was like so complicated and there's so many characters and so many events that happened that like 20 minutes, they'd like rush through it. Um, and so I was kind of like... Uh, just, I was trying to enact bullet time, trying to slow it down. But uh, I basically came out of it like, well, that was kind of helpful, but I'm just going to go ahead and play it. Stash found in the woods. Oh, okay. The known sites talk about dead taken, lunchboxes, knitting. Interesting. Kimmy is deciding to vacuum right now. I don't know why. She knows I'm recording. She knows my work is important. Stash uh, found in front of the Elderwood Palace Lodge in Bright Falls. Oh, okay. All right, this cold stash was in the street. Literally, just out in the street. I, I see you're very disturbed by that. All right, and then uh, Watery. Watery apparently has a lot of nursery rhymes. Oh, okay, wait. These go in the dolls, which are up here. There's a bunch of these. I love the antlers and its little face. Nicely made. Deer doll. Kind of hard to tell it's a deer. I suppose clothespins are a limiting medium. True. All right, we've done we've done everything. I'm gonna quick save here and uh, exit. So the code. We'll have to come back for this. I'm guessing. Or do you think the code has something to do with these numbers? I can't help but notice two is here twice. There's two arrows in two. There's three bottles at one. There's three arrows in seven. There's one arrow in five. So is it five, two, seven? If we follow the arrows, it's five, two, seven, y'all. Let's go. This ain't my first rodeo. Oh. Oh, yeah. If you aren't wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. Okay, well, I'm going to take it anyway, so. And look, we had just enough room for it. Yes! Okay. Great. Um, I'm going to quick slot this. With the shotgun, because we're going to be using the revolver most of the time. Oh, propane tank. Throwable gas canister. Detonates when shot, inflicting heavy damage to anything nearby. Oh yeah, we've got a bunch of these actually. I just didn't, I didn't notice. I'm gonna quick slot the painkillers where the flare is. And I'm going to quick slot the flare where the batteries are because I don't need to quick slot the batteries. The only reason I quick slot the batteries was because I didn't notice that at the very bottom it tells you how many batteries there were. So I thought I would just like be like, how many batteries do I have? Oh, I see. I could just tell at a glance. <gasps> What? What's going on? Wait, can I not take these? Oh, I can't take these. You know what? Let's just, you know, okay, I was about to discard this, but we could just put it in the shoebox. Let's put it in the shoebox. And then I can take as many arrows as I want. Actually, this is a good, good opportunity. Um, you know, I'm going to move more flares. There we go. 
That's good. And I'm going to move the big ass first aid kit because two slots for that. That's just a lot. All right. Now let me take these arrows. There we go. Okay. So that's only four arrows, which is weird because according to my calculations, I should have six. How do I have six arrows? Because there was two, one, and three. So how do I only have four? All right, you know what? Life's too short to have to worry about this. A container. There's a container over there? Wait, did I miss it? Is it down? Wait, is it down here? No, 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 that's the shortcut. Wait, is it? Oh, did I? I think I... I think we can't open it, right? Oh, no, we already opened this. Oh, it's locked. Okay. It all makes sense now. I'm fine. Okay, now I'm just going to double check on the map here. So, we've got a radio tower off to the right. And then we've got the main path that leads oh, to the ranger cabin. Damn. Before we even get to Coffee World. Okay, you know what? This makes way more sense. I think a few parts ago, I was like, oh, this is this is all watery? Wow, but this is actually mostly Coffee World. And this is watery. This is it. So, that's it. Screwdriver. Where do you get the screwdriver? Crossbow bolts are over there next to the nursery rhyme. Well, when we return, we'll, we'll come to it. Okay. See that over here? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, okay, let's keep going. I had to sneeze. Well, obviously, because I sneezed. But, uh,. So it was up here next to the radio tower. I think we'll have to make a dedicated trip to this. Donna's jerky review. Oh. Davis family beef jerky will now be available at the Sunday market in three delicious flavors. Oh, I hate That's you. Right. Our favorite sponsor. Davis You're creepy. Creepy sounding. Davis family jerky. More of those rhymes. Yeah, I can tell. They got these uh, cameras set up. Um, three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home, and two of the deers cried all day. Okay, so three little deers. Found a nice place to eat and play. I'm guessing... Leaf. Think Saga. But then do I need three deer dolls? Because I also have a moose doll. But you don't say anything about moose. You only talk about deer. So I need to get two more deer... Uh, deer dolls. That's fine. I can come back. <laughs> he's mad. He's pissed. He's coming up. He's coming up. Oh, he's big mad. Well, he's he's coming up quick. Where is he? Say so something about the general star. He sounded really upset. I don't know. All this stuff in the background. What's going on? You know? Another Anything over Alex here? Casey lunchbox? Oh, yeah. We love to see it. We stay winning. Seven manuscript fragments. Okay. 
I got I gotta try an Alex Casey uh, impersonation. I lowered my rifle, standing on the car's roof. I looked out at the carnage. The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was there. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe, thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time, hopefully for the last time. The townspeople, cautiously emerging from their hiding places, surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name, and I waved and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life reading books and gardening and fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. Suddenly a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it! <laughs> Wait, I gotta do my Alan impersonation now. It's hard to transition. You did it. I knew you could. Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. I don't know. Is that what Alex Casey sounds like? I can't. I honestly, like, can't remember. I can barely remember. Seems like it kind of sounded like that, though. Uh, let's go. I feel like I need to get another deer doll and then come back. And I can't really actually use the radio tower. So, but that's fine. All right, let's go kill this guy. Oh, wait, wait. I gotta move over here. Oh, I'm not in my corner. Things don't feel right when I'm not in my corner. Oh yeah, her gun holds 18. It, it held 12, so when I got the 50% upgrade, it went to 18. Pretty nice, pretty nice. It's, uh, Alan's revolver only holds six. <laughs> Die. Saga's kind of a, kind of a serial killer vibes right now. Okay, let me check the map. I'm so sorry, okay? Guess what? I'm not sorry at all. Okay, we're gonna move forward until we cross the bridge. Let's look around, make sure we... Aren't missing any loot boxes or any deer dolls or anything like that. Even though I probably am. Because there's probably like one like hidden in the brush or something like that. There's a waterfall, but don't worry. There's nothing behind it. We're going to go off the beaten path just a little bit. Not, nothing too crazy, all right? Now, am I correct to go off to the side here? Yes, I am. Gamer intuition. Aha! Alex Casey lunchbox nearby. More manuscript pages. Yep. Um, we'll take that. Thank you. More of those kids' lunchboxes. Hi, hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fanfiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Ooh, five manuscript fragments. Lunchbox found on the way to Coffee World. Hell yeah. What was that? Don't just make sounds like that. Oh, wow. That's a flooded house. I hate that, actually. That's the ranger cabin. Can I go out there? What's the fear of underwater structures? Submaconophobia? It's not really a phobia. I think it's actually a very rational fear. Because the... Oh, oh, come on. We, we gotta wait, we gotta wait for it to become unflooded. 
The reason it's scary is because it's something... It, it's like a reminder, a, a remnant of, of a formerly happy world. That place, somebody used to call that their home. Somebody used to live there. Somebody used to have happy memories out there. And now, it's underwater. It's destroyed by Mother Nature. Because that's how everything ends up in the end. Anyway. Like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more fun gameplay videos. Haven't subscribed? Why not? New fun video every day. At 2 p.m. Central. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they've been going, the videos have been going live at 2 Central every day. The same time. Whatever time zone that is for you. Another Alex Casey lunchbox. That's a potato! <laughs> I was like, another egg! No, it's a potato. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, so whatever time you notice that they go up, that's the time they go up every day. Fun fact. Manuscript? We gotta hear Alan read it. I like the way Alan does it. So, uh, scratch, scratch on the hunt. Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottom. <clears throat> the woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him. His army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head. Waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy, filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. <laughs> why, why are they so obsessed with deer fence? Why, why does Scratch care about deer fence? Wait, did he just explain it? I did check my phone for a second. It's just, it's just, sorry, it's just Alan, you know, on and on and on over there with that guy. The writer continued to write. The ocean was a lake, or the, the lake was an ocean. I mean, yeah, I get it. Scratch wanted the clicker. Hello? Everybody wants the clicker. Oh. Anyone here? Coffee nope. world. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Oh, or no. were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. There's just popcorn sitting out. What? Coffee World review notes. Oh no, a, re a reviewer. Pros, coffee themed names for the rides. Mildly amusing. Nice view of watery from the top of the Ferris wheel. Yeah, but what kind of view is it? You're looking at like three buildings. The mascots were trying their best. What else? Okay, coffee. Cons. Rickety rides. Creepy mood. Money hungry owner. They killed the poor moose. Two out of five stars. Huh. Now, what happened to you? I'm wondering. Oh my gosh. Is this like a trash can or something? Fun. Oh, I can't remember what these things are called. I think it's called like a sail flag or something like that. Sail is an S-A-I-L. I used to write, I used to do copywriting for a living. Um, and we, sometimes you would do ads on things like this. And it'd be so annoying because they'd be vertical. Anytime you had to write a vertical ad, you had to like, it, we, we hated doing stuff like this because like you couldn't do a whole lot of text because um, it had to fit vertically. And it always, it always looked cheap too. Oh wow, am I taking this? Ooh, yeesh. I might have to go back to the shoe box. Okay, let me... I know I'm doing this a lot. Okay, I'm actually gonna go back. 
I'm gonna put some stuff in the shoebox. No entry staff only. Well, that's the way I came in, so that's kind of funny. Did you see that? Okay. Here's the problem. I've got too many flares. Like, way too many. And the first aid kits, I just don't, I uh, like, flat out, I don't need them. Oh, thank you for stacking them. That's very thoughtful. Okay. And... No offense, but I'm going to move some of these arrows, too. Just until we get more more uh, items in the inventory. Okay, now we can go. Now we can go kill these guys. Do you go around this way? Coffee world. Locked. Oh, come on. Need something to Jimmy it open with. A list of maintenance work. A screwdriver. Huh. I need that. The lock is jammed again. I forced it last time with the screwdriver, which has disappeared. Again! Push it back where you use it. Or when you use it. Okay. Logged maintenance. 9123. Squeaking on Latte Lagoon Car B. Tighten the bolts. Less bad now. Yako. Percolator control panel jammed. Removed front with screwdriver. Found a penny in there. Okay, so we need the... We need the screwdriver. Fallen tree near Latte Lagoon. Should probably call the tree guy. Chainsaw and removed keeping the wood. Several burned out bulbs on percolator. Replaced and ordered more bulbs. What's the percolator? Is that the roller coaster? Coffee world entrance sign defaced. Cleaned with detergent wax sign. Should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow. Slow roaster pot is stuck. Won't swing. I hit it with some WD-40. Seems good for now. Yako's working hard on this place. It's a really cheap looking Ferris wheel. Maybe I'm spoiled though, because here at the Texas State Fair, we got the Texas Star, which is like, I think it might be the tallest Ferris wheel in the country. I wouldn't be surprised if it was anyway. I'm not saying it is. It's just, the type. it seems like the type of thing that would be like, yeah, it's the tallest. Yeah, no big deal. Everything's bigger in Texas, blah, 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 blah. The percolator. Oh yeah, I think that is the roller coaster. Where is everybody? They, oh, they got a cone in the porta potty. That's never a good sign. We're sorry, this toilet is temporarily out of order. Wait, can I hit this? Oh, come on. I always want to see what objects have physics and which ones are like cemented where they stand. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, this isn't a roller coaster. I thought it was. I thought that was like the track that we were looking at. Is that the percolator? Oh. Get it? It's like coffee themed. Ooh. Aha! It's another potato. It, ke it keeps fooling me. I keep seeing the potatoes and being like an Alice Casey lunchbox. Okay. One of those was drawn by Mike. Oh, this is depressing. Are you sure you guys want me to see all this? See you, Latte. So this is the exit, right? However, we don't want to leave just yet. There's too much, too much to explore. Mocha the Moose. Oh, sorry. Mocha the Moose, a moosing Mocha fax. Oh, this is so sad. The Moose's favorite drink is coffee. I'm not sure if you can, can you feed Moose's coffee? When you ask, Maricetta will speak. Is there some reason you decided to read that out loud? Look, everybody leaves donuts and cookies around here. I cannot look at this. I'm just 
Guys, you see a pink frosting donut? You don't leave that on a plate? I'm so upset about that. I know it doesn't seem like it should be that big of a deal, but that's, uh, that's very upsetting to me. Oh my god, what is this, the ring? The Fultari Well. Legends say that this is the dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to their watery graves. In the early days of Watery's history, this very well was where Ilmari Huatari hid the bodies of his victims with the help of his brother, Jacopi Huatari. Oh my gosh. It was only after Ilmari murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light. But was it madness or the spirit of Naki possessing Ilmari that drove him to murder like he himself believed? Is there more to this well than meets the eye? You know, I can't help but notice that Ilmo and Yako bear striking resemblances to the names Ilmari and Yakopi, who are also brothers. I wonder if there's some sort of significance there. You can't really see the bottom of the well. Ooh. Interesting. Are these guys uh, maybe more than they seem? Oh! Another locked box. What hides behind the smile? Okay. So we're looking for a clue there, huh? Expresso Express. No entry staff only. Must be locked from the other side. From the other side? Call of, Hall of the Call of All Knights, right? Okay, where are we now? Oh boy, okay. We can't go there yet, that's a locked door. We can go to the Espresso Express. Um... We haven't gone to the Percolator or the Latte Lagoon. Let's go here first, obviously. We'll probably have to collect deer dolls if we want to solve that triple deer doll puzzle. Wow, this is, um... Well, it's in a state, all right. It's... <laughs> hmm. It's clipping through the deck. I'm not so sure that that should be what's happening with it. Uh, but... Hey, let's check out the ice chest here. Can we run the ride? That could be funny. Nope. No Can't power. It. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. So you want to you wanna get the power on. Is there some reason? Oh. The oh, here it is. is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. Look for a fuse in the Call of All Knights workshop. Well, we can't get in there yet because it's locked. All right, so we got a lot to do around here, actually. The tasks, they're piling up. All right, let's go back this way. Let's see. This place is like, interestingly, it's pretty big. How do you get up to the um, Ferris wheel area? So we need a screwdriver to get into the gift shop. They supposedly asked somebody to, to open it for us, but... There's another cult stash. Why are there so many cult stashes here? Only striped cups. Don't make me count the striped cups. Striped cups. Oh, I see. Okay. This is how we get the code. <sighs> Seven. But what order do we do this in? Fascinating. Fascinating gameplay. Maybe in order of uh, quantity. Well, they gotta be single digits. Okay, one, that's helpful. One and seven, so we're looking for one more. Four, is it one, four, seven? Let's just make sure. Yeah, okay, one, four, seven. 
That's gotta be it, man. Okay. Do not take what is not yours. Ah. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. I got it. Got another cult stash. <laughs> I'm a thief. <laughs> Feels good to be a gangster. You want to loot the porta potties? One nice place. To, to sit and, and look over the flooded area of the park. Ooh. WTF, all the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. Literally. Literally, though. Okay. Now we've done this part. We've done the slow roaster. Let's go to the percolator in the fair trade fun zone. And then we'll have been pretty much everywhere here. Um, it's this way, right? Okay, we can just follow the signs. Percolator this way. Okay, let's go off to the side. I haven't been this way. Look, Mr. Moose is here. Where does this go? This goes down here. Just like a swing set area, or... It's like a little playground. This is the fair trade fun zone, maybe? Oh no, we've been here. My bad. Yeah, this is where the moose was. Aw. The exit's this way. Okay. My bad. Then... This way. Keep forgetting that the sprint is a toggle, not a hold. Okay, we got some crossbows. Cro crossbow bolts, rather. I I've got a question. Okay, I was wondering if I could shoot it and then recollect the arrow, but that is not, that's not a thing. Which is kind of frustrating. Jesus! Nice try. Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. Have a beautiful day. Oh my gosh. Shut it. I would check the, the back of it. You know what? Less seasoned gamers might have been scared by that, but not me. I'm tough. What can I say? Tough guy. Nothing. Very annoying. Ooh, pie. Hungry. Oh. Do we go out there? I think it's flooded, so we can't. Yeah, there's a big nothing burger out here. Yeah, it won't let us go. I guess when we get rid of the flooding, then we can come out here. Something to consider for later. Oh my God, I'm so tired of opening those up and there being nothing in there. Balloon pop. Two dollars equals five bolts. Hit a balloon to win. Well, I did. We did get something. Okay, we got we got one of them back, <clears throat> but not the other one. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Weird. Okay, the percolator. Here we go. We got a checkpoint here, so. Okay then. Yeah, I kind of figured. This seemed like the main attraction, didn't it? What is that? Nice. 
Yes, we got him. Oh my god. Did I finally get him? Let's heal. Okay, it's only two of them. That's good. Oh, is there, is there hey, a fuse we could take? This should get that gift shop oh, open. Oh, oh, screwdriver. Yes. Yes. So I'm like way too excited about that. I was joking, guys. I wasn't that excited about the screwdriver. Pfft. Who would have cared that much about a screwdriver? Not me. <laughs> That's really lame. I was like, screwdriver? Pfft, sure, I guess I'll take it. That was me. That was what happened. Don't act like I was losing my shit over it. Yeah, was that you over here that was doing that? Okay, so now I go back to the gift shop, yeah? It sounds like, sounds like this area is populated now. I'm in the safe area, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like they're around now. Uh-oh. I don't know where they're coming from. Okay, I'm gonna check the map, make sure I know the most direct way back. If I just go forward here, I'll get to it. Okay. I mean, I don't mind if we if we kill these guys. Oh. Wow, okay. Ow. Oh my gosh. Ow. Holy crap, these guys are crazy. Oh. Wow. Holy crap. I thought consecutive headshots would stun him. I know I'm supposed to get him in the back. I know I'm supposed to get him in the back, but that's a really inconvenient place for his weakness to be. I just want to mention that. Okay, so a couple things. We're going to reload here. It doesn't seem like the consecutive headshot thing stuns them, because I, I thought I got that just now. Am I wrong? I got two headshots in a row. Maybe, they, maybe it was like slightly off. It just felt like I got him with that. Also, not really that impressed with the crossbow. Considering it's only one shot, like... Alright, here we go. Screwdriver. Now, you know, we can go back to Bright Falls and use the screwdriver to open some locks back there, too. Now, where is that safe? I don't know. Take some of that, thank you. Ooh, let's heal. Oh. I can't believe he's not healing. <sighs> Bro, why aren't you healing? There we go. We are all good now. Uh, Jeff, I need another moose favor. Mulka was doing just fine. He even got a glowing vet report. And then BAM! They say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe you just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants either. We're telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Thanks in advance, Ilmo. Hey, Ilmo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about her kid poking himself in the eye with one of the souvenir pukos. Whose grand idea was it to sell kids plastic knives in a coffee-themed amusement park anyway? All right, it was yours. Why well, even ask the question if you know the answer? Locked. Why okay. did you change the password? What would Ilmo use for a code? Why did you change the damn password to the safe again? I thought it was Lookout Fixer Supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid? Yako. 
Okay. Calm down, this one's easy. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. See? Not rocket science. Ilmo. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Okay, well, let's use some profiling. I need to open the safe. Right. Yeah. What's yeah. The combination. People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just <laughs> use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. <laughs> just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Right. Tracker, lookout. Well, whatever. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I pressed B because I wanted to sprint, but you can't sprint in the mine palace. I should have known. Wait, do I have anything here? No. Let's go to Colt Stashes, and I guess we'll just put these. Let's see. Coffee World. More warnings inside. People must break into these fairly frequently. You would, th you, you would think. I think we're the only ones opening them, though. We haven't found any already open. There was a crossbow inside. Better in my hands than theirs. I mean, whatever you want to tell yourself. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Alex Casey lunchboxes. Let's see. Watery area. We found one. If the author of these pages wants privacy, that ship has sailed, I'm afraid. All right, because they said not to read their stuff. More fan fiction with zombies and mycology. Not going to lie, I read more of these. Mycology, the study of fungi. Basically, it's the study of me, because I'm a fun guy. The clicker. Where does this go? Um, The clicker. How to stop the story? Oh, no, oh, we just put it here on the clicker. Sorry. How much room here? Scratch just needs the clicker to make his ending into reality. Can't let that happen. Obviously. Trail of the Cult. Coffee World. Coffee World. The most caffeinated place on Earth. <laughs> and yet nobody's here to help me get Is that, that a tag? Like, they should use that. Okay, here we go. The gift shop safe is locked. Ilmo used uh, information in the gift shop to create the safe combination. Do we really need to do this part? I mean... Just look around and you will find the answer. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. The note mentions three jobs. Tracker, lookout, and cleaner. Oh. Uh. Getting okay, inside the gift shop, we already did that. I almost said someone would help me, but there's no one here. It looks like I'll need to find my own way inside. Well, we already did that. Sure. I'm surprised it didn't just do this for me. Percolator. Using it's like sometimes. To break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. You wanted to break into the fish shop earlier. Don't even stop. Don't, don't even start with the standard procedure. You wanted to. You, you like took one look at the locked fish shop and you were like, I gotta break into there. We don't know. We don't know if there's anything in there. Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. Okay. Remember to bring your liability forms for Tuesday's Bring Your Dog to Coffee World Day. The photos have stickers on them. They sure do. Congratulations to Thomas for completing his first year at Coffee World. As usual, this work anniversary earns you a free packet of freshly ground coffee. A free packet. Wow. The percolator is unfortunately going undergoing maintenance, but don't worry. We'll fix it as soon as possible. Does anything work around here? Lost and found. Maintenance. Ride operator. Janitor. Gift shop. Security. Caregiver. Park. Walk around. Concession stand. I'm surprised there's nine people that work here. Quite frankly. This is a manuscript page? Ah, we get to hear Alan's voice once again. Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend. Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. 
Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. Shaft. All uh, right. So I'm guessing the safe combination has something to do with the employee um, jobs and stuff like that. Let's go back to the mine palace, actually. Stickers are next to the photos on the staff board. I bet Elmo is the kind of guy who likes Sudoku's. I wasn't even thinking about that, but okay. Safe combo based off clues in gift shop. So what's the what's the clue? Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Oh, it can't be like a Sudoku puzzle, can it? So Thomas's first year. Where's Thomas? Oh, okay, here he is. So he's one, right? Tracker. What's the tracker? Lost and found? So Susan would be the tracker. Lookout would be security? Cleaner would be janitor. Or would lookout be park walk around? Yeah. So I'm, I'm guessing it's Susan, Robin, Victor. Now, if Thomas is one, um, oh, the coffee beans indicate the number. Oh, so then we got one, so we got one, two, six? Is it one, two, six? Can I try it? It's not one, two, six. Well then, maybe, maybe lookout is security then, which would be one four six. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, that was right. Okay. The keys to my trailer. We now to it. find the clicker. And the cult. I agree. Okay. And is there anything else in there? There's a rubber ducky. Because, of course, there's... Is that a packet of coffee? Oh, my gosh. No way. All right, guys. Well, I think we're, we're nearing the end of this video. Um, oh. Let me go back to where I saved... And uh, end things there. We're done with Coffee World for now. I know it took a long time. I know I'm slow with this stuff, but I like being thorough. Honestly, playing games on YouTube kind of ruined me with that. Because I used to just kind of go through it, miss a lot of things, and... Uh... You know, just like... Kind of do what I make fun of people doing now. Just like rush through it. Try to like sprint through the game as fast as possible. Not like not like trying to do it as fast as possible. But like not thoroughly exploring things. And now because I get backseated so much on YouTube. Now I like. I like have this annoying pressure to like look around and find stuff. That like honestly I'm not like super interested in. But it's like I've been trained. And I know I know that. I've already seen people being like, he missed this, he missed that. Well, like I said, I'm not going to 100% everything. So, um, it's blind playthrough. So let's just, let's just calm down, okay? Anyway, um, I'm glad to be back playing Saga's story again. It feels like weirdly more relaxing than Alan's sections. I think it's good to have an interchange between the two of them. Play a little Saga, play a little Alan, play a little Saga, play a little Alan, because... Um, that this, this hour kind of flew by, and sometimes I like Alan's sections, but sometimes Alan's sections kind of slog. They kind of take forever to get through, and Saga is just—I mean, I'm, it's like blink and I miss it. It's over. 
I like Coffee World. Fun little area. I wish we could get on the Ferris wheel. Or I wish there was like a roller coaster we could get on or something. There's no roller coasters at all, which is crazy to me. What's the point of an amusement park? No roller coasters. Whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.